हेलो एवरी वन पीस बी ऑफ ऑन यू ऑल एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल वंस अगेन इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू गाइज हाउ टू क्रोश इट दिस सिंपल वेरी सिंपल वेरी ईजी डॉयली इट्स वेरी सिंपल एंड वेरी ईजी आई एम आई डिड नॉट मेक टू मैनी ऑफ डॉयलीज मे बी दिस इज माई सेकेंड वन और थर्ड वन डॉयली आई एम नॉट very good at making dailies but uh, this is uh, i like this pattern it was very easy and it was very simple so i thought maybe i should give it give it a try now so i made two i had i had already made this one so i made uh, this one on camera and the only difference is that i changed the color here in this round but here i did not change the color i made it in plain simple one color and um, the uh, it's approximately 13 inches and uh, the it's the size of the both is this uh, both dialies are some are the same uh, the yarn i used is this one i used this one it's hank yarn i got it from pakistan so i can't tell the exact thickness of the yarn or ply or anything like that but it's a thin yarn and the like this and uh, i would suggest if you are making doily it's better that you use cotton yarn it's better because uh, mm, acrylic yarn is not the ideal yarn for the dailies and i used 3 mm crochet hook so let's get started i hope it will be easy for you guys to understand i'll try my best once again and so let's get started <clears throat> before we start working on our daily i thought maybe i should uh, share the view outside my window with you guys and it's uh, 3rd november today and it's very unusual for the danish weather to be like this in november um the sun is shining or it was shining <laughs> this is the typical danish weather they say that danish weather can go 180 degree any time so this is how it is i mean i was trying to capture the sun but i was maybe a few seconds late <laughs> and it's gone but it's always raining and cloudy and gloomy weather in denmark and it was very unusual that sun is shining in the november so i got excited and thought well, maybe i should share with you guys <laughs> i was so excited and now it's gone <laughs> so back to our crochet now the uh, starting point of our uh, doily is here Uh, this is the starting uh, point of the doily which is the central point for that what we are going to do you can you can start this point by making magic ring or uh, i will make chain 4 because i'm all, i'm always having trouble with magic ring because it it unravels sometimes later on maybe after one or two months so i i don't like i don't like to take uh, the risk so that's why i am going to start up with chain 4 so i have made slip knot and now i am going to make chain 4 1 2 3 4 and now i am going to slip stitch into the first chain which is this one like that so now we have this tiny uh ring we are going to make all of our stitches into that i am going to make chain 3 1 2 3 and then i am going to make this uh, starting chain 3 does not count as our first double crochet so i am going to make 14 double crochets into the ring 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 
through. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. What we are going to do now is we are going to skip the starting chain three, and this is our first double crochet. This one, so I am going to slip stitch on the top of this double crochet like that. Now we will make chain three. One, two, three. <clears throat> In all the rounds from here, in all the rounds from here to here, I don't know what's wrong with my camera today. From here. From this round, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, for the 8 rounds, the starting chain 3 does not count as our double crochet. So what I am going to do now is, I am going to make 2 double crochets into the first double crochet, 1 and 2, like that. And then I'm going to make two double crochets into next next double crochet one and two and this is the pattern I'm going to repeat that I will make two double crochets into each and every double crochet in the end uh, at the end of this round we should end up with 28 double crochets so I will resume the video when I'm here so I am at the end of this round, I am going to skip this chain 3, starting chain 3 and then I will and then I will slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet, this one, like that. And now I will make chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and I will make 1 double crochet into first double crochet and then 2 double crochets on the top of our next double crochet, 1 and 2. Now we will make 1 double crochet in on the top of next double crochet and two double crochets on the top of our next double crochet one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat we are <coughs> we are going to make one double crochet into our next double crochet and then we are going to make an increase by making two double crochets into the next double crochet we are going to make increase increase in every second double crochet i will repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then i will resume the video again so i am at the end of this round and now i will skip this chain three and i will slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet which is this one i will make chain three one two three and then I will make a double crochet into the first double crochet like that and then I will make one double crochet into next double crochet 
and then two double crochets into next double crochet one and two like that so we are going to make an increase in every third uh, double crochet so one double crochet into the next and one double crochet into the next and then two double crochets which is an increase into the next one and two this is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way to the end that I will make one double crochet into next next double crochet one double crochet into next double crochet and then two double crochets into the next all the way to the end and I will resume the video when I am here so I am at the end of this round so I am going to skip our starting chain 3 and I am going to slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet like that now I will make chain 3 1 2 3 and I am going to make a double crochet into first double crochet like that and then I will make one double crochet into next two double crochets one and two and then I will make two double crochets into the next double crochet one and two now I will make one double crochet into next three double crochets one two three and into the fourth one I am going to make two double crochets one double crochet in, two three and into the fourth one this one I am going to make a I am going to make an increase which means that I am going to make two double crochets on the top of one double crochet this is the pattern we are going to repeat that we are going to make one double crochet into next three double crochets and two double crochet into the next double crochet we are going to repeat this pattern all the way to the end so I am at the end of this round so I am going to slip stitch into our first double crochet now I will make chain 3 I will chain 3 1 2 and 3 and then I will make one double crochet into first double crochet and one double crochet into next three double crochets one <coughs> two and three and then I will make two double crochets I will make two double crochets on the top of our next double crochet one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat which is that I am going to make one double crochet into next uh, four double crochets one two three four and into the fifth one I am going to make two double crochets so I'm going to make one double crochet two three four and into the fifth one this one I'm going to make two double crochet one and two so this is the pattern I'm going to repeat that I will make an increase in every fifth double crochet one double crochet into next four double crochets and then two double crochets into the fifth one all the way to the end I will repeat the pattern all the way here and then I will resume the video so I am at the end of this round so what I am going to do is I am going to skip our 
starting chain 3 and into first double crochet I'm going to make a slip stitch I will make chain 3 1 2 3 and I will make one double crochet into next five double crochets one two three four and five one double crochet into one two three four five double crochets and into the next one which is this one I'm going to make two double crochets one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat that we are going to make one double crochet into next five double crochets one two three four five and into the sixth one this one we are going to make an increase so we are going to make one double crochet two double crochets three double crochet four five and into the sixth one which is this one I'm going to make two double crochets one and two so this is the pattern I'm going to repeat that I'm going to make one double crochet in five double crochets and then two double crochet into the sixth one I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way here and then I will resume the video so I am at the end of round number seven so what I am going to do now is I am going to slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet So now this is going to be the round number 8 and this is our last increasing round of the double crochet. So I am going to chain 3, 1, 2, 3 <coughs> and then I am going to make 1 double crochet into first double crochet and then 1 double crochet into next 5 double crochets. One, two three four and five in total we have six double crochets we have made one double crochet into six double crochet one two three four five six and into the next one which is this one i am going to make two double crochets sometimes your hair gets stuck in the yarn so I'm going to make two double crochets into the next like that this is the pattern I'm going to repeat that I will make one double crochet into next six double crochet and then two double crochets into seventh double crochet so I'm going to make one double crochet two three four five and six and then two double crochets into the seventh one so we are going to make an increase in every seventh stitch So this is the pattern we are going to repeat that we are going to make one double crochet into one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets and then two double crochets into the seventh double crochet. I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then I will resume the video. So I'm at the end of round number eight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet like that and now our rounds of uh, double crochets 
are finished now we are going to work on this part which i will cut the which i will call the net kind of part so for that what we are going to do is we are going to make chain one and then i will make one single crochet into first double crochet and then i will make chain four one two three and four and i will skip next two double crochets and into the third one i'm going to make a single crochet like that and we are going to repeat this section seven more times one two three four chains and i'm going to skip next two double crochets and i'm going to skip this one and this one and into the third one into the third one i'm going to make a single crochet and again i will make chain four one two three four I'm going to skip next two double crochet and into the third one I'm going to make a single crochet chain four one two three four skip next two double crochets and into the third one one single crochet again one two three four chains skip next two double crochets and into the third one I'm going to make a single crochet chain 4 1 2 3 4 skip next two stitches into the third one i'm going to make a single crochet 1 2 3 4 and one single crochet into the next So I have repeated this pattern by eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what I will do is instead of making chain four, I will make chain five. One, two, three, four, and five and then i'm going to skip three double crochets one two three into the fourth one i'm going to make a single crochet like that this is the pattern we are going to repeat from here to here which is that we are going to make chain four and then we are going to skip two double crochets and into the third one we are going to make a single crochet we are going to repeat that as we did here we are going to repeat that for one two three four five six seven eight times and then we are going to make chain five and we will skip three double crochets and into the fourth one we are going to make a a single crochet we are going to repeat this pattern all the way around and I will resume the video when I am at the end of this round so I am at the end of this round and if you made the same numbers of the stitches as I have then you should end up with four sets of five chains uh, one two three and the fourth one we are going to make now and in between the five chains you should end up with eight set of sets of the four chains like one two three four five six seven eight and then this is the chain five and then one two three four five six seven eight and then we have four uh, chains eight sets of four chains and then one set of five chains again one two three four five six seven eight and then 
five chains and then again one two three four five six seven eight and then this is going to be the five chain uh, but we are going to make it a little bit different you don't have to put a stitch marker i just place the stitch marker so that i can explain it a little bit better so what we are going to do now is we have three double crochets left so we are going to make after we have made single crochet we are going to make chain instead of chain five we are going to make chain one we are going to make chain one and then we will make a double crochet by wrapping the yarn around the uh, crochet hook and this is our first double crochet so we are not going to uh, make double crochet on the top of this single crochet we will insert the crochet hook horizontal into this uh, starting uh, single crochet like that we are not making front post uh, uh, double crochet we are just inserting the uh, crochet horizontal horizontally into the starting single crochet like that we have these two loops and then we will make one plain double crochet so now we have our uh, this will be counted as our chain five space so I'm going to remove the stitch markers and then I will resume the video uh, when uh, I will start working on our next round so we are going to start our next round what we are going to do is we are going to make chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 and then we are going to make one single crochet into next chain 4 space like that and then we will make chain 5 again 1 2 3 4 and 5 and one single crochet into the next this is the pattern we are going to repeat that we are going to make chain 4 1 2 3 4 and then uh, then we will make a single crochet into the next so this is the pattern we are going to, re to repeat all the way by making just chain 4 and making a single crochet into the next we will do the same into the uh, space into this one where we had five um, ch chains instead of four in last round we are going to repeat the same pattern we are going to make chain five and then we will make a single crochet into that space as well we are going to repeat this pattern all the way to the end so we are at the end of this round and uh, we have just one more set of uh, chain five to make but instead of making chain five we will make chain two one and two and this is the double crochet we made in last round and this is the top of that double crochet this is the top of the double crochet here so we are going to make one double crochet into that so so our second round of the net pattern i will call it is finished so we are going to we have just two more rounds of the same um, what you call it uh, this these chains uh, uh, left so we are going to uh, work on our, on our round number three our next round is the same as our last round it's identical what we are going to do is we are going to make chain five one two three four and five and then this is first available chain space so i'm going to make a single crochet into that and then again i will make chain five one two three four and five 
and then I will make a single crochet into next chain space chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 and then one single crochet into the next this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end and I will resume the video when I have uh, completed this round which is that we are just going to copy the uh, last round we will make five chain and then we will make a single crochet into next available chain space so I am at the end of this round so I will make chain 2 instead of chain 5 1 and 2 and then I will make a I will make a double crochet on the top of our starting double crochet like that and now I will make chain 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and I will make a single crochet into the next again I will make chain 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and I will make a single crochet into the next this is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way to the end by making six chains and then one double crochet into next available chain space so I'm at the end of this round so instead of instead of making chain six I'm going to make chain three one two and three and then I will make a double crochet on the top of our double crochet we made in last round like that so the next round is going to be the same as our uh, last round what we are going to do is we are going to make chain six one two three four five six and then we will make a single crochet into next chain space and then again we will make chain six and then single crochet into the space of next chain so we are going to repeat this pattern all the way to the end so I am at the end of this round so I will make chain 3 1 2 3 and I will make a double crochet on the top of our double crochet we made at the, uh, at the uh, end of last round like that so now our net pattern is completed now we are going to now we are going to work on these double on the round where, uh, where we are going to make these double crochets there is just one clarif clarification which i wanted to point out because earlier i said that we are going to repeat these chains uh, rounds two more but we actually repeated three times so you should end up with one two three four five rounds of these uh, chain spaces you should have these chain spaces five times one two three four one two three four and five so now we are going to start our next round and for that what we are going to do is <coughs> we will go direct to next uh, available chain space and we will make 12 double crochets 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, nine, and twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I thought we made twelve. Eleven and twelve. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we made 12 double crochets and then we are going to make a single crochet into the next. 
this is the point if you want to change the color because in this one I, I have changed the color so this is the point like here this is where I made double crochet the stitches I made in the next round are overlapping the single crochet that's why you can't see it but this is where I made the single crochet and then I changed here I have blue color and then I changed to the yellow color so this is the point if you want to change the color you can change the color but I'm not going to change the color so I will continue in the hockey color so I will make one uh, once again I will make 12 into next chain space six chains uh, space of six chains I am going to make 12 double crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and into the next chain space i'm going to make a single crochet and again this is the point if you want to change the color you can change the color so this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end that we will make 12 double crochets into the next uh, space chain space and we are going to make one single crochet into the next and then again 12 double crochets into the next this is the pattern i'm going to repeat all the way to the end and i will resume the video when i reach here so i'm at the end of this round and i'm going to make a single crochet into the last uh, remaining chain space like that and then I will slip stitch into the first double crochet of the set of the 12 double crochets this is our first I'm going to slip stitch into that then the next round the which is going to be the last round <clears throat> I'm going to make chain one and then I will make a single crochet into the same double crochet then I will make chain one and single crochet into next double crochet chain one single crochet into next double crochet chain one one single crochet into next double crochet this is the pattern I'm going to repeat into all of the double crochets and I have made a single crochet into the last double crochet and now I will make chain one and instead of making a single crochet on the top of this single crochet which we made after the set of 12 double, cro double crochets we made a single crochet into the space of next chain chains we are going to make a single crochet into the same chain space so our single crochet will be overlapping our single crochet will be overlapping the single crochet from the last round and then I will make a sing, uh, chain one again and then I will make a single crochet into next double crochet chain one single crochet into next double crochet this is the pattern I'm going to repeat I'm going to make chain one and make one double uh, one single crochet and then chain one and one single crochet into next into each and every double crochet and then we will make chain one and we will make a single crochet overlapping and uh, the single crochet from the last round we will make single crochet instead of on the top of this single crochet 
we are going to down into this chain space and we will make a single crochet there and then we will chain one and make uh, we will then repeat the pattern so this is the pattern i'm going to repeat all the way to the end and i will resume the video when i'm at the end of this round i'm at the end of this round and uh, i just need to make a single crochet uh, i have already made a chain one and i'm going to make a single crochet overlapping the single crochet from last round then i will chain chain one and this is first single crochet we made in last round this is the first single crochet we made in at the start of this round so i'm going to slip stitch i'm going to slip stitch into that single crochet and then i will cut the yarn pull it snug and now i will so i have completed my doily oh, by making a chain one and single crochet into all the double crochets and overlapping the single crochet and then i have joined with uh, on the top of the first single crochet of this round so and i have cut the yarn i have recorded that part of the video but somehow i i don't know how but sometimes it happens that you think that you have clicked the record, record button but you did not so somehow that part is not uh, recorded but I just repeated the pattern and I have cut the yarn and then I have weaved in the uh, remaining yarn so I thought maybe I, sh <clears throat> I will zoom out a little bit and uh, can show you guys how this is how they look because I use the same um, size of the yarn and crochet hook same thickness of the yarn and same size of the crochet hook that's why my uh, both eyelids are identical in the length or if not length into that uh, uh, diameter and uh, this is how it looks right now the only difference is that I change the color in this one in the in this round I did not change the color here so that's why the last round of the single crochets into this uh, doily is more prominent than this one but they are identical in size and look and uh, in looks and everything so uh, our dailies are finished thank you so much for watching if you guys have any question any any confusion do let me know in the comment box and i'll try my best to help you guys thank you so much for watching uh, peace be upon you all and uh, see you guys again